Welcome to my channel and to blah. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be taking off my makeup with the new Patrick Star One Size Makeup Remover Wipe and Mist. I got both of these and I did want to put out a little bit of a disclaimer since my friend Nessa and me have been seeing some people that are talking about how wasteful this is and bad for the environment this is and whatnot. Uh, so I do have things that are reusable that I use to remove my makeup. The makeup eraser, I have reusable cotton pads, I have washcloths, and I normally remove my makeup with an oil-based makeup remover, and then I double cleanse. But, you know, sometimes you just get lazy and you just want to use a makeup wipe or you travel, or sometimes I'll be doing three looks in one video and I want to just take off like my eyeshadow and it's a little bit hard to do that with a reusable cotton pad and I'll use one wipe through all three of the looks. So it's nice to just have on hand. We're just going to be reviewing the makeup removers. I'm not going to talk about like wastefulness unless it is an issue with the product like the mist like if it gets a lot in your hair or something like that. So I do try to be conscious of products and stuff that I can reuse, but sometimes I really just want a makeup wipe and I don't want to go through the extra steps. I'm too tired throughout the day or I'm traveling or, you know, stuff like that. It's just nice to have on hand. So out of the way with, <laughs> with that part of this, but let's get into this. So these are the one size go off juiciest makeup remover wipes. This is a heck of a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. Yes, I have some swatches on my arm. Um, I am going to be removing liquid lipstick and some bunch proof eyeliner with both of these, but I wanted to let it dry <laughs> before I get into this. So there are 21 wipes in here. They're seven by 10 inches and it's $15 for this whole thing, which they are pretty pricey considering of like how much you get for them. To be honest, when I first got into makeup, I used to only use Neutrogena makeup wipes, rinse my face with water, and then I went to bed. That was the only skincare that I did. Just let that soak in. But, <laughs> but having some good quality makeup wipes, not only are you going to be using less makeup wipes, so it is it can be better for the environment if you do spend a little bit more money in better makeup remover wipes and getting one that'll actually take off a full face of makeup with one wipe instead of using like two or three wipes to get it off. Just saying. And it does say on Sephora's website uh, underneath these that, that you can fully remove makeup in just one juicy swipe. But the other thing that I wanted to point out uh, before we got into this is that both uh, on the mist and on the makeup removers, on the packaging actually, and on the website, it does say that you can pair these two together, which doesn't really make any sense to me because in my mind, I'd be using these if I was lazy or if it was just more convenient for me in filming in a more timely manner or with this one, I'd use this as my first step for cleansing as opposed to like a makeup removing balm um, and then just use like a damp washcloth. But it says for the ultimate makeup removal experience, pair with go off dissolving mist and follow with a daily cleanser. And then on here, it says pretty much the same thing, but to, yeah, to remove your full beat face of makeup pair with Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. And this one is cruelty free and vegan. It does say that on the packaging. This one says that it's cruelty free, but it doesn't say if it's vegan. So now let's get into this. This is 3.4 ounces for $24 a mist it's a continuous mist um that instantly dissolves makeup and it does say to spray it a little weird like and i'm a little worried i'm gonna get it in my hair but i mean my hair isn't that 
clean so i guess it's okay if i get a little bit in your in my hair but that's a spray eight to ten inches away from your face do it in an o shape and then an s shape on the center of your face and then to massage which that kind of weirds me out because i feel like if you're spraying your face with something like what if you need to add more and then you got like stuff all over your face i don't know it just doesn't click with me like if you already have like a balm and you're sticking your hands in there and then massaging it into your face and then like this you're spraying it on your face and then massaging it and what if you need more you got makeup on your hand i don't know i'm just pointing pointing out what i'm thinking um and then it says you can use a like washcloth to wipe it off or the makeup wipe so that is what it, we are going to be testing out today to see how good this makeup remover is. Like I said, I normally stick with uh, a double cleanse method with a cleansing balm, like the Clinique Take the Day Off, the Drunk Elephant, what is it, Sai Makeup Balm, I finished that whole thing, um, the Kate Somerville Cold Press Cream or whatever that's called, that's really good. So that's what I normally like to use to remove my makeup is really good for my oily skin because it helps to balance without stripping and it does say that this is supposed to be non-stripping yeah so it says makeup is removed without leaving skin feeling tight or dry so we're gonna keep an eye out for this one and does this say anything about leaving your skin yeah so on my arm i'm gonna test out the makeup wipes and the spray by itself in a little bit more of like a controlled environment and then on my actual face I'm gonna try out what their best recommended makeup ultimate what do they call, what do they call it for the ultimate makeup removal experience so I want to do that to my face so I'm gonna be using the mist the wipes and then washing my face <laughs> Which is a process, that is a process of removing your makeup. But I mean, if you got like a whole cake full of makeup, like I understand, but as far as like this, I don't think I need to be using all of those steps, but for testing purposes, I am going to be doing that. But now that my swatches are dry, we're gonna switch over to a camera angle to actually see, or actually, you know what? Let's open these up before I switch the camera around to where we can test out my arms. Ah, for someone who has nails, you might want to package this a little bit more friendlier for people that have nails. Ah, this thing isn't coming off. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, it just pops right out. This little circle thing didn't want to come out. All right, they smell pretty good. They kind of remind me of like a luxury version of like the Yes To makeup wipe. They smell clean though, but they definitely have like a clean luxury smell to them. Um, I kind of want to pop this open. Okay, it's got a red little cappy to it. I kind of want to spray this just like in my room. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Okay, yeah. This has the exact same smell as the wipes. Just saying. <laughs> so, all right. So, this is a super fine mist. These are some giant makeup wipes. Actually, since I'm going to be taking one out anyways, let's just take what the heck and heck. This is a ginormous makeup wipe look at the size of this i mean if i'm doing some like crazy halloween makeup i am 100 percent confident that this whole sheet of makeup wipe is going to remove my entire face uh for an everyday makeup look i don't really know how uh well we'll see we'll see i'm i might just keep this makeup wipe um after i use it on my arm but let's, let's just go into trying to remove 
my arm. All right, going into removing this like first couple swatches of eyeliner and liquid lipstick. This is the Kesha Rose eyeliner and Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I don't know what shade it is, but I just kind of picked one, but I'm gonna use the mist on this one and I'm gonna spray it kind of off the camera because I don't wanna get it on the camera. So I'm just gonna do two little sprays there. It kind of just has like a bit of like a, of okay. So it removes the liquid lipstick pretty easily. Oop. Hmm. Uh, it's taking me a bit of work to remove this eyeliner. I mean, I'm not really rubbing hard. It removed the liquid lipstick pretty much instantly. It's kind of removing the eyeliner. Hmm. All right. I'm really not gonna realistically be rubbing my eyes this hard. So, the makeup wipe, and I'm just gonna do a single swipe. Huh. Not really removing that eyeliner very well. Okay, so I put a little bit more pressure on there. I got the remainder of everything off. So now I'm going to take the, the clean side of the makeup wipe and I'm going to take the other round of swatches here and let's we'll see how the makeup wipes. They are pretty nice consistency in regards to like how wet and dry they are. Okay so just I, I wouldn't call it one swipe but it definitely I'm just gonna do one last swipe on my arm, my entire arm, the little finger swatches on the other side. That's pretty much what's left. I'm gonna do, all right. I'm gonna just swipe my arm with this part of the towelette. See if there's anything left, just a teensy bit left. All right, so the mist didn't work as well as I kind of anticipated it would. We'll have to see how it works on the eyeliner. It removed the liquid lipstick pretty easily, um, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work on like my brows. I have a little bit of dip brow on them. Uh, my eyeliner, I have a little bit of mascara on. We'll see. But as far as my arm where I had the swatches, it is a little red on my arm where I was kind of rubbing a little hard, but it does have kind of like an oily, I mean, it isn't like Neutrogena oily. It's like a, I don't know, like you put facial oil on my arm, kind of a oily. Like it's like a dry oil, but it definitely feels like smooth and you can kind of tell on my hand, it's got like this shiny residue. So definitely washing my face afterwards because I break out pretty easily. But now let's get into putting this on my face. I'm quite nervous, but I'm going to remove oh, my eyelashes first. There we go. I don't like putting makeup remover on my face when I have eyelashes on, because I find when I try to do that, it gets some of that like makeup residue on the eyelashes and then it's just even harder to clean it so we're not going to deal with that today so i'm going to do what they say eight to ten inches away in an o shape and then an s shape i might back up for this Whew. all right all right all right i'm gonna get it all in my hair i get it all in my hair <sighs> makes me so nervous mm. Oh, I can't press it. I keep wanting to go and press it, but like, I don't know, my like nerves are like stopping me. All right. You can like hardly feel it on your face. All right, I think that is enough. It does have a strong scent when you spray it on your face like that, so. If you are sensitive to smells, I do warn you on that. 
yeah so i got a lot more on this side of my face than i did the other side of my face which is exactly what i was worried about um yeah i definitely say you have to spray a little bit more than what i sprayed it doesn't feel like i really got a lot on my face it does kind of look like i got it in my hair it does seem a little shinier than before i'm actually gonna take a little bit of this and spray it directly into my hand oh yeah now we're talking yeah if you're planning on using this i'd spray it directly onto your hand because then it's a little bit more control with the product yeah and that removed my eyeliner a lot easier spraying it onto my fingers than just spraying it onto my face or like on my arm i'm gonna spray a little bit more yeah i feel like i'm using a lot more of this well i don't really know it's hard to measure this kind of a product in comparison to like a balm because this is like a fine mist spray and a balm is a solid so it's like uh am i using more of this or am i using less of this i don't really know so for the ultimate makeup removing experience i have one hand that is completely dirty <laughs> uh and then we're gonna get the makeup wipe Jeez Louise. I'm gonna wipe off my hand first. All right, let's see here. Man, I wish she just came in an unscented. I mean, the scent isn't bad, but I am someone who is a little bit more sensitive to smells. So definitely what I've concluded so far is that if you're a person that wears like everyday makeup, um, and not like lashes, baking, a, t a full face of makeup kind of a deal, 24 hour wear. Um, I don't really think these are very practical for you just because, I mean, this is a lot of steps for the ultimate makeup removing experience. Um, and it is a bit on the pricier side than like just getting you know, like the Clinique take the day off bomb that'll last you for like three to six months, depending on how often you use it. And you just get a damp washcloth and rinse off or wipe off the rest of the makeup off of your face. Hmm. All right, so this is one side of the makeup wipe. I'm gonna fold it in half and just do another good wipe all over my face. My I can tell my skin is getting a bit sensitive with this because I'm not used to wiping my face with makeup wipes. I can feel a bit of like tangling, but like I said, this is not gonna be my everyday choice of removing my makeup. But I will say it removed everything pretty well. There's not a lot of residue that's getting off on this other side of the makeup wipe. The other thing I would say is my eyes are not getting sensitive with the makeup wipes or the spray thus far. All right, so this is about how much I am going to be getting off with the spray and the makeup wipe. There is some mascara and eyeliner residue still on my eyes, but as far as my face, it feels relatively clean. Uh, I still will always use <laughs> a face cleanser afterwards, regardless of how I remove my makeup, whether it be with like a cotton pad or the makeup eraser or a balm. I just feel more comfortable with using a face cleanser afterwards. So I'm gonna go in cleanse my face and I'll come back with some final thoughts. All right, so I just finished cleansing my face with the fresh soy face cleanser and I let my face kind of sit for a bit and nothing feels really dry. My skin does feel pretty nice. 
Um, there are a few spots of my skin that are a little bit sensitive, like my eyelids are a little sensitive at the moment, and some parts of my cheeks are a little sensitive just from like the rubbing part. I will have to try this out a little bit more. I'm not entirely impressed with the makeup wipes. I do think the sides of them are really nice to have handy for, you know, those certain times where you have like a really thick full face of makeup or um, Halloween or stuff like that where you can take off an entire full face of makeup with the big wipes. But as far as me compared to like someone like Patrick Star, I'm not putting you know, color corrector over a full coverage foundation with a full coverage concealer and baking my face and setting my face and just doing a lot of layers. I'm just more of an average everyday person with my moisturizing primer and my medium coverage foundation. I like my skin to show through. Um, occasionally I'll do full coverage concealer just because I have dark circles, but I'm really not using as much makeup as I feel like these were kind of designed for. And as far as the mist, I'll have to keep using it. I think there is a bit of a learning curve because I am used to using like a makeup removing balm. I'll have to keep using this to see how I like it, though I'm not gonna keep using it with the makeup wipes because um, I'd much rather keep using this with um, like a damp washcloth and removing my makeup. And I'm gonna be spraying it into my hands and then massaging my face. So that's my kind of learning curve. Um, if I had to go back and only buy one of them, I would definitely only buy the mist just because I feel like I can get some makeup wipes that are cheaper, getting more for my dollar. My boyfriend also just said that um, the scent of this reminds him of the Commodity Rain fragrance. So if you're familiar with that, that's kind of what these smell like. <laughs> but yes, definitely would choose the mist over the makeup remover wipes. These aren't the best makeup wipes I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not like crazy about makeup wipes. I don't, makeup wipes just don't work very well for my skin. Uh, I do have pretty sensitive skin when it comes to makeup wipes. So it's just not a thing for me, but let me know what you guys thought of this little in-depth review. Let me know if you have any questions over these products in the comments down below. And if you guys wanna watch another video, I did do a review over the Lily Lashes eyeliner and lash adhesive two-in-one eyeliner and I tested that out. That video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here. Click on it and subscribe to my channel.